my name's Jarrett Mailder and today I'm going to be doing the Coke and Mentos Geezer Experiment. Yes, it's cool and yes, it's fun, but I'm going to be showing you the science behind it. My hypothesis is that the Coke and Mentos Geezer Experiment would work better in a hot environment like Death Valley rather than a cold environment like Alaska. I think of it like a Milo. If you put Milo in a cup and then add cold milk, it doesn't dissolve, it just floats to the top. But if you add boiling water first, it dissolves. I think it would be the same with the hot Coke and the Mentos. In this little tube, there is four Mentos. Now this Coke is straight out of the fridge and it measures, the temperature measures, around about seven degrees. Let's do it. Now this is the room temperature code. It still has the same four Mentos in the tube and the room temperature today is around about 16 degrees. Let's see if it goes any higher. Now this is the hot coke. I've still got the same four Mentos in the tube and the temperature is around about 40 degrees. Let's do it. The reason the Coke and Mentos react like that is because of the food preservative known as potassium benzoate, the artificial sweetener known as aspartum, and carbon dioxide from the Diet Coke reacting with the gelatin, and gum arabic, a, a gum made from the sap of two different kinds of acacia tree from the Mentos. The structure of the Mentos is significant to the reaction because the small holes covering the surface of the Mentos, therefore allowing carbon dioxide bubbles from the Diet Coke to form fast enough to make a jet of foam. When all the gas is released, there's a rapid reaction and the only place that the Coke can, can escape is out the top of the bottle, which makes the Coke geezer. My hypothesis was correct in saying that the heated Coke would work better, but my Milo analogy was wrong. The reason the heated coke worked better is because when you heat the coke, you also heat the gas molecules inside it. This causes them to move faster and faster, therefore getting into the Mentos quicker and more aggressively to make a larger reaction. I hope you enjoyed my experiment on coke and Mentos geysers. Thank you for watching.